Strip away the surface of these shells and you reveal a shiny layer called mother of pearl. And in Thailand, it's been used to make ornaments that decorate palaces and temples for over seven centuries. It can take half a year and as many as 20,000 pieces to complete one inlay. At 57, Jukit Suksavad is one of the last craftsmen preserving this traditional art. But the craft almost disappeared during the Burmese-Siamese War in the 18th century. So what makes Mother of Pearl unique? And how is the centuries-old craft still standing? Rattan is the base of every inlay. It is light and easy to shape. When I work about my, my arts and I like to create in the peaceful place. When I have something serious, I look around the natural. That could help me. Jukit used to be a rice farmer. But today, he finds inspiration in the nature that surrounds his quiet workshop in Bua Pak Tha. <laughs> Working with the shells poses the biggest challenges. It can take 30 minutes to clean and smooth the rough surface of one shell and reach the mother of pearl. Jukit uses the shells of turban snails, but it's not always easy to get a hold of them, so he buys them from India and Indonesia. One kilogram of shells can cost as much as 1,700 Thai baht, or about $50. It's hard to ราคาค่อนข้างสูงเป็นตัวแปรสําคัญทําให้ปัจจุบันเนี่ยช่างมุกอ่าส่วนใหญ่แล้วจะปรับเปลี่ยนไปใช้หอยตัวอื่นที่
Then he filters the liquid with a thin white cloth to remove impurities. The sap contains toxic oils that can cause allergic reactions, so Jukit wears gloves to protect his skin. He covers the whole design with a thin layer of the paste. รอเพราะว่าปัจจัยการทํางานในบางกระบวนการเช่นยางรักเนี่ยต้องใช้อุณหภูมิอากาศในการที่เขาจะจะจะแห้งพอจะขัดได้แต่แต่ละชั้นพอจะพอจะสําเร็จได้แต่ละขั้นตอนต้องใช้เวลาในการทํางาน With wet soft sandpaper he cleans the excess lacquer off the mother of pearl He will polish and recoat it multiple times until the lacquer and mother of pearl pieces are leveled to a smooth surface The final touch is a layer of oil that adds a glossy look. Art that combined lacquer and mother of pearl thrived in Thailand during the Ayutthaya period, between the 14th and 18th centuries. Buddhist temples like the Wat Boram Puttaram had mother of pearl door panels. The temple was destroyed when the Burmese attacked the ancient capital of Thailand in 1767. Some doors and inlays were saved. And in 2007, Princess Maha Chakri Serindorn assigned a group of artists to make new ones for the Temple of the Emerald Buddha Scripture Hall. Jukit says he was one of those artisans. Today, he's one of the last in Thailand focusing on mother of pearl conservation. It takes him one month to finish a small piece. Larger ones can take six months to a year and can cost more than two thousand dollars. He sells them mainly through custom orders. This ancient technique is time-consuming and labor-intensive, and younger generations are not interested in the craft. But Jukit is teaching the art to his nephew. ช่างที่จะทํางานตรงนี้ได้ก็คือเราต้องมีความความเชื่อความศรัทธาว่าสิ่งที่เราทําไปแล้วเนี่ยมันเป็นบุญมันเป็นกุศลกรรมมาคือเราทําแล้วเราสามสิบเราภาคภูมิใจ Hi this is the still standing team over the past year we've met artisans from around the world who preserve traditional methods and techniques like preparing soy sauce in Japan cleaning leather in Morocco And making the perfect mirrors in India. If you enjoy our videos, please like and subscribe to see more stories about the people keeping centuries-old traditions alive. And if you have an idea for a video you'd like to see, let us know in the comments. Thank you.